everyone, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I'm thrilled because today I'm going to be sharing a thrift haul and shop with me video with you all. It's been a really long time. I haven't been thrifting in so long. I hit up some garage sales today. I went to the thrift store. It was just like, I'm back. That's sort of how I felt. And so in today's video, I would like to share with you a little thrift with me, garage sale with me footage, and then we'll come back and do a thrift haul. So let's just jump right into that footage. I'll take you with me to some garage sales and some thrift stores, and then we will come back and I will share a haul with you. So first, let's go shopping. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, and Sean and I are going to do a little thrifting garage sailing. Go Yankees. Go Yankees. Hopefully they win. I've been super busy. I'm really sorry that I haven't been able to share a ton of videos recently but I'm I feel like I'm back I'm ready I'm in the right like headspace to get to filming and editing and all that kind of stuff um, so today I'm actually filming two videos at the same time I'm filming a vlog style video or at least I'm trying to and I'm going to film like a thrift with me maybe a thrift haul at the end so we're looking for a house sale oh do you have any cash No. we're so bad at this now. <laughs> okay so we're gonna have to go get cash yeah <coughs> great all right so we we pause this video and we have to go get money. Please hold. Please hold. We while will we be <laughs> while we get cash. Can we can we show the folks the, the dials here no. really quick? Okay, so can we I like it to be really it hot. To be a thousand degrees in here. So she'll turn the temperature up as high as it will go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So and then I'm always turning it back down. And then she tells me that it's cold. Okay, I'm excited. I wanted to go in this house. So we're gonna go inside. I'm gonna see if I can share some with you. It's kind of hard though sometimes to do that. So all right, I'll check in soon. So we weren't able to film in there because it was like an estate sale. But the house was so cute. Oh my gosh, like it was just this really cute, like t little mini house. Um, we liked it, but and we're not like in the market for a new house or anything. We just added upstairs. If anything, I think we're gonna do stuff to our house. Right, babe? Maybe. Yeah, also haven't picked up money. Luckily, there wasn't anything that I wanted at that estate sale, right? No. It looks like it had been well picked through. Do you know what these are? Trolls. Yeah, they're when I was little, you would rub their belly and you'd make a wish. They would call them wishing trolls. And I had one just like this. Oh, this one's this one had a rough day. There, get that out of your hair, buddy. The ones with the jewels are my favorites. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. You're coming home with me. They're so little. That one's not as cute. Do you have a jewel on your belt? There I go, that one does. Oh, little friends, you're my friends. <laughs> All right, I think only the ones with the jewels. My husband's gonna be like, what are you doing? I think probably these ones. Oh. I think the rest has jewels. Yeah, the, the jewel ones are the special ones. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yep. Sean, she's helping me find the sparkle. <gasps> There's a Furby, Furby. You're not allowed to buy the Furby. Look at that one though. That one's so cute. <laughs> how much are how much are the trolls? Sean, do you see my troll collection? Da, 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 da. That's cool. Do you see like that little door on that thing? It's pretty neat. Oh, these are cute too. It's for eggnog. But look, it's like, you bring out the eggnog bowl, you serve the eggnog out of the eggnog bowl. Look at how cute you look holding them. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Well, you know. Oh, this one on top. I like the blue one. Yeah, this one's my favorite. I love blue. I love the jewel. He needs a bath. They need baths.
let's just jump right into the thrift haul and garage sale haul. I am so excited and I'm going to save my favorite thing for last. All right, so I'm going to start with some books that I got at the thrift store. I have been obsessed with thrifting books. If you're a teacher, side note, if you're a teacher, please, please, please buy your books at the thrift store or garage sales. You will get the best price. Obviously, sometimes they're a little used, but sometimes they're just gently used and they're perfect. Fill up your classroom library with used books don't go out and buy them retail. Oh my gosh, you can get such great deals at the thrift store. The first set of books that I got, I got with a specific student in mind. I picked up these level two, I believe is what they're called, and they're Curious George readers. They are new, actually. Um, it's the new Curious George, but I picked up a bunch of them. I picked up Curious George, A Home for the Honeybees, The Perfect Carrot, Home Run, Plants a Seed, Sorry if it's fuzzy. The Kite. And then, oh, another Home for Honeybees. So I have a student who's in second grade who I want to try to help her get into like a series. Um, or just, again, like with a character. And these seem to be like a decent level um, for her. And I thought this would be a good a good book and a good series and he's cute you know so I picked up those books then I also picked up there was an old lady who swallowed a bell I think I shared with you guys a while ago or maybe I actually never shared that video I found a ton of these books like several in the series I didn't realize there was such a series but um I found several of them and I picked up another one in that series it's sort of bent though I don't know I might just try to put another book on top of it and if you're curious if you see this on my hand because it hasn't come off yet. I got this henna tattoo when I was in California at my best friend's wedding. So it's starting to fade, but like it's been a week, a week ago today. So I love it. So then I picked up this, The Christmas Witch by Stephen Kellogg. I love Stephen Kellogg. I love the illustrations and all of these books I picked up at the thrift store. So I like to collect different books from different authors. And so, or I like to collect as many books as I can from like a particular author. We do an author study unit and I like to find them at several different levels because my students are at several different levels. Then the next one, again, along the like author study theme is Honey, Honey Lion. And it's a Jen Brett story, which I had never seen this story before is it honey badger <gasps> it's honey badger oh my gosh my kids are going to go crazy for this honey badger 2005 before the honey badger fully gained its popularity then i picked up the messy room berenstain bears classic i don't know please like this video if you wanted to organize your room like the berenstain bears did Example of how I wanted to organize it is this right here. I always wanted to use a pegboard in my bedroom. Oh my gosh, this book like so satisfying. And they have all of the things organized in the closet. This book was my favorite. I loved, I loved it when I was a kid. I might already have a copy of this, but I'm afraid that I don't and I wanna make sure that I do have it for my classroom collection. So I picked that up. And then I picked up Junie B. Jones and the Stupid Smelly Bus. I picked this up because I wanna say I have five copies of this, but I wanted to pick up a sixth so that I could do like a guided reading group with um with some of my kids. And this is a good, like like I said earlier, this is a good like second grade level reading. Um, yeah, it says reading level 2.0. So it still is, again, for my English language learners, depending on, on which student it is, it might be a little challenging. So I picked that up to add to a guided reading group. So I, I've been doing that a lot lately. I've been picking up multiples of, of book series so that I have them. Um, and I can do a larger guided reading group. Then I picked up this book. It is the book Little Bear's Visit. I picked up this Little Bear book because I have a student that loves Little Bear and it's the cutest thing that I've ever seen. And I've had the student for several years and he is just the sweetest little boy that I know and I love listening to him read Little Bear and so I'm gonna put this in my classroom library and sort of like encourage him to like pick this up um, and he just loves Little Bear he just loves he just loves Little Bear and I just think it's the sweetest thing I gotta hurry or this vi this video is gonna be really long and I've shared before my kids love I Spy and this is the ultimate challenge book so it's probably really hard um, but all different kinds of pictures. Oh, it takes from different books, like this is from the school book. 
is probably just all of the hardest pictures. So I like to pick up the I Spy books whenever I find them. And then something that I always wanted but never had when I was a kid, zoo books. Also give this video a thumbs up if you remember the commercials for zoo books. They are just so cool. What year? 2007, so this is a newer edition, but they always had them back in the day. They always had the commercials for them and I always wanted it. I like having these books for my kids to read, but I also like having them for um, so that they can cut out the pictures if we were to do like a collage. Those are all of the books that I picked up and now let me share with you some of the clothing that I picked up. So I have been on the kick of finding things with like bell sleeves and I just think it's so pretty. So I picked up this white top, just this like sim simple top but it has the bell sleeve, which I really like. I can see myself wearing this with a big scarf or wearing it with a big statement necklace, maybe some khakis for school. Um, I just like having pretty pieces, I've said before, that have like a unique piece of, of interest to them, you know what I mean? Something that just makes them look a little different. And I really like the bell sleeve look. I really went to look for some cardigans because I feel like I get cold sometimes at school and I just want to have something to keep me a little warmer, but I was only able to find one cardigan. Um, and it is this one. It's from the brand Joseph A. The reason I liked it is it has this pretty ruffle along the bottom. And I'll definitely have to wear this on Instagram so you can get a better look at it. But I, it's billowy. It's big. I can, like, cover myself with it. And, um, it'll keep me warm at school. It was $6. It wasn't half off. But I just feel like I really have been looking for something like this. And it's heavy, but not too heavy. And the next thing I found, I'm either going to keep it for myself or give it to my mom. And I don't know what size it was because the tag has been ripped out of it, but it's this like crushed velvet top with like the bottom, uh, like so, a little ruffly detail on the bottom and on the arm. I just think it's really pretty. And I think, I feel like I can see myself wearing this um, on New Year's Eve or something like that something you know like a fancy event and the other thing which is so funny one of my students wore crushed velvet to school uh, not that long ago and I thought it was so cute and I was like I need to get something like that so I actually thought of one of my students when I saw this because she was wearing a really pretty like crushed velvet top and I'm like that looks really cute I'm gonna copy your style and then I picked up two pairs of shoes the first ones I'm like yeah I had to leave with these shoes Oh my goodness, look at these sparkly shoes. They fit me perfectly. They are Steve Madden and they are perfect. They were only $3 and they were not half off, but I really like the sparkly flats and I know my kids are gonna go crazy for those too. Oh, and this, this top was $5 and it also wasn't half off. And then the, the last pair of shoes that I got and the last thing I got at the thrift store are these. I just think these are, whoops, I think these are so cute. I could see myself wearing these with like, I don't know, a nice pair of slacks and and like just a nice button down. They look really like professional. I feel like I look, I could look very professional in this, but casual at the same time. And they were $4. And the last thing that I would like to share with you, oh my gosh, it was just such an incredible find. And if you are a child of the 80s and the 90s, then you, you just know and you're with me and you're like, girl, you had to pick those up. You guys are gonna love this. Yes, I am so thrilled about finding these. I found five, I believe five, of these wishing trolls. Oh my gosh, look at them. So I found one with green hair and a red jewel. Then I found one, this one's my favorite. They do need a little bit of a bath and a brushing. Then I found a blue one with a blue jewel. I found a yellow one with a green jewel and green eyes. Ooh, this one's got something in his hair. I'll have to fix that. Then I found a yellow one with green eyes and a clear jewel. And then I found a pink one. A pink one with pink eyes and a, actually like a star on his tummy. So in my classroom, I have this like reward system and we use jewels and we actually, every time the students do something good or they meet, reach a goal or they work really hard or they show kindness, pretty much it's up to my discretion. Um, it's different for every student. So like one student who might struggle with speaking, I might, if he speaks to me, I might say, you know, good, great job, go put a stone in. And, um, or if somebody who might be having a little bit of struggles with being kind, if I see them act kind to somebody else, then they'll get a stone for that. So it really depends on my 
my personal choice of how to do it but they're these beautiful stones that I got at a garage sale they look like diamonds and rubies and all of the stuff but they're plastic and um, so anytime they do something good they get to put a stone in and I have them sitting on this one section of my classroom and what I thought I could do was actually take the trolls and have them sit like and stand guard of the stones because they have they have the jewels on their tummies, so it's like almost like they keep part of it and they keep it. I'm, I'm imagining in my head that they're like the guardians of the jewels because they have a little jewel on their tummy. And also because these are the wishing trolls, I'm pretty sure that's what you would call them. When we were little, we would like rub their tummies and make a wish. So maybe I'll incorporate something like that with my kids. I just like things to be like whimsical and fun in my classroom. So I'll definitely share a picture with you guys on Instagram of how that turns out. I know my kids are going to go crazy for them. I can't wait for them to see them. I'm just going to have them set up in my classroom on Tuesday and just be like, here, you see anything different? <laughs> and that's it for this thrift haul and shop with me video. Thank you so much for watching. I am so excited to be back. I'm so excited to be sharing thrift hauls and I'm just so excited to be sharing videos with you guys again. So thank you so much for being patient while I took a little bit of a break when I went back to school. Don't forget to check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Please follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving and if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at thriftedlivingpage. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!